what exactly is AFD? It's, if I've understood it right, it's kind of a way for students also to get experiences abroad, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the, yeah. I mean, the idea of AFD is to um, allow students to have social impact. Okay. Oh, cool. uh, through social entrepreneurship so like we kind of be, everything we do is revolves around social entrepreneurship uh, and so we have like three pillars where we have projects uh, so we have students I think right now we have like around 50 project students working on eight or seven projects around the world wow. um, and so they work with the partners like are in contact with the partners locally during 10 months and then in the summer they go implement their solutions for two months uh, so it's a very intense and very relevant experience, I think. Mm -hmm. um, we always try to like make our projects as sustainable and as impactful as possible. That's something that's really rising now. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, with but ISEC, with AFD. But it's like, really important. It's like, super. It's, oh, it's crucial. I believe social entrepreneurship is the way forward. Like you know, mm -hmm. like that's how. Like I believe there's this shift happening of companies that are 100% for profit and this really capitalistically driven society uh, towards a lot more looking like at what societal value are we creating mm -hmm. like the world I envision that I strongly believe in is a world where all our basic needs are met by for example this like what if we could f create farms um, that are totally self-operated by you know self-driving tractors and like these robots that self-repair and then everything works on uh everything works on solar and so you can like manage manage these fields because it's ai by the millimeter because now f farmers are doing it by the hectare so like you can get an exponential exponentially bigger uh, efficiency and then you can like make exactly what you need to make for the community around it and then you can make sure that like it doesn't cost anything like it's a, the first cost is just the cost of investing in it, it yeah. and making it and then you <clears> have <throat> everybody's basic needs of food met and then you don't need to go you don't need to go work because food will be coming but a lot of jobs will be just poof. yeah but no you'll have a lot more time for example if you are so interested in let's say astrophysics or whatever you could just be like I'm going to study astrophysics for five years now just because it interests me so much. And I'm mm -hmm. going to spend time with my friends and like do all these things. Or I want to be the best dad I can be for five years or 10 years, or 18 years, like the time that my kids grow up. Like we'll just have, we'll have time to be more human. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and you can, and that's the shift. That's the shift. Like you don't, you don't look at jobs as a job anymore that brings food on the table. You look at how can I create the value for society and there's a million problems out there to be solved like space exploration dude we're not even at like oh. half the shit like we there's so much we can do there. i mean we've like analyzed the glass of water of yeah. the whole fucking ocean right yeah yeah 100 percent. and um i mean climate change that's something that we all, like if everybody would stop their that job would... tomorrow and start start thinking about how we can solve climate change it would be solved tomorrow like oh yeah you know like it's just a different way of looking at the world like it's you don't look at jobs as putting food on the table you look at how can i create value for society 